37 minutes of not a lot from an attacking perspective. And then just one bit of magic from Higuain. In terms of the finish and the movement, he should really have been offside. There's no way that the fullback, Cagliari's fullback, should be playing Higuain onside there. The centre has to do a good job of making sure that they're the correct side of Higuain. He's straight in behind them, but Pizacane, I think it is, who just in the poor position. He's the one who switched off. That's what Rastelli was saying. You cannot lose your concentration against this team. They will punish you, particularly when it's this man, because when he went in behind, the only chance that Cagliari had for it not to be a goal was if the flag went up. If it had have done, it would have been incorrect. Higuain was always going to do his bit and finish. From nothing, you have the lead. Seven goals in seven. Leap by Quadrada. This time, ball forward by Marquisio. And Quadrado showed good pace to get to that. He's got Dybala up in support. Others arriving now as well. One of them's Gonzalo Higuain. And it's two. Inside two minutes of the restart. It's Gonzalo Higuain again for Juventus. Takes him level at the top of the goal-scoring charts in Serie A. His 18th of the season in the league. That was clinical. A really good counter-attack from Juve and typical finish from Higuain at the end of it. Just wonder whether Rafael should be beaten there by the tall port. Maybe just catches him by, by surprise. Not quite set for it. And dips underneath him. Clinical finish from Higuain. Clinical counter from Juve, who, unlike Cagliari in the first half, do have someone who can take them on the pitch with with one sprint forward, and that's Cuadrado. Lovely layoff from Dybala, the run off the ball from Higuain. I just wonder whether at the beginning of that counter, Pizacane, who was the last man for Cagliari, shouldn't have continued coming across and prevented Cuadrado from lifting his head and picking a pass inside. The worst start possible for the beginning of this second half for Cagliari. And you can just hear and feel how flat the atmosphere has gone at the Stadio Santillia.